Twinkle, the Starry Adventure, a bedtime story for kids. Today we have a book named Twinkle, the Starry Adventure, a bedtime story for kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, in the velvety depths of the night sky, there dwelled a small, fluffy owl named Benny. Benny had wide, curious eyes that twinkled like little stars. They sparkled so much that he was known as Benny the Blinking Owl. Every evening as the dusk fell and the stars began to twinkle, Benny would perch atop his favorite tree and gaze longingly at his friends high above. Luna, the wise moon, always smiled down at him with her kind smile and soft glow. She watched over the night, bringing calm to forests and fields alike. Luna noticed how every night without fail, little Benny tried to stretch his wings towards his glimmering friends in the sky, but could never reach them. Small, fluffy owl, wide, sparkling eyes, perched, gazing, night sky. Among those twinkling lights was Stella, a tiny, sparkling star with a heart as bright as her celestial shimmer. Stella loved to chat with Luna about all she had seen from her lofty perch in the heavens. Tales of distant lands and oceans that gleamed under their watchful eyes. One special evening, Stella decided it was time to share Benny's wishes with Luna. She whispered through the cool night breeze, Our friend Benny tries so hard to touch us every single night. He flaps his tiny wings and reaches out with all his might. Do you think we could do something special for him? Luna's face beamed even brighter at Stella's thoughtful idea. What a wonderful suggestion. We should indeed help our dear friend feel closer to us. So together they conspired, planning something magical for Benny a surprise that would make this particular night unforgettable for their diminutive owl companion. As twilight approached on this enchanted evening, there was an air of excitement amongst the stars. They all knew of Luna's plan and were eager to see it unfold. They each shone a little brighter waiting for their friend to emerge from his little nest within the old oak tree. Then he blinked open his eyes and felt something different in the air tonight. It seemed like it was pulsing with magic. He ruffled his feathers in anticipation and took his place on top of the tree. Looking up at Luna's glowing face and Stella's radiant twinkle, he wondered if they could hear him whispering goodnight. To his astonishment, Stella twinkled back in response. She flickered brightly three times as if sending him a message in some secret star language. What happened next filled Benny's heart with joy. One by one, each star began flickering back at him until it looked like a sky full of glittering fireworks. Benny couldn't believe what he was seeing. The stars were dancing just for him, and then he heard Luna's gentle voice echoing through the night sky. Dear Benny, she said warmly. We have seen your attempts to reach us every night, and we are moved by your love. We wanted you to know that even though you may not touch us physically, Luna continued softly while her glow bathed him in comfort, our light reaches you always. We're connected by invisible threads woven from our friendship. Overwhelmed by emotion, tears welled up in Benny's big, blinking eyes. Tears of happiness because he finally felt truly close to his celestial friends. And then an even more extraordinary thing happened. A delicate breeze carried whispers from every corner of the sky. Whispers of stories told by each star about adventures across galaxies far away. With heart full and eyes heavy with sleepiness from listening to such wondrous tales. Under Luna's watchful care. Surrounded by Stella's sparkling lullabies.
gently rocked by winds carrying voices of other stars. Little Benny drifted into peaceful slumber where dreams awaited among clouds sailing across endless skies, all safe and secure knowing that friendship bridged any distance between them forevermore. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.